What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at how to take insane, take and edit insane Instagram photos. I've had a lot of compliments on my Instagram feed the past few days. It's because I've been stepping my game up and I want to teach you guys the tips and tricks, tips and tricks on how to do that. Okay, my hair is all sorts of messed up. Bear with me. I, th I think I cut it the way I want to, but it's a little bit long and hard to style. So bear with me if it's messed up. What we're going to do and how we're going to go through this process today is one, I'm going to show you guys how to take photos, how to kind of put an outfit together for the photo, how to correlate an outfit with a photo that you're gonna get to take the most fire pictures. I'm gonna show you how to take them on an iPhone. Why did I point to the camera? iPhone, because this has a pretty great camera, as well as I'm gonna show you how to do it on a camera camera and show you guys the gear that I use and expose that. Now, the gear that I use totals up to around $5,500, which is a lot of money, but this is my work. This, what I paid for this is my job. So that's why I pay so much money for it. But you don't need that much equipment to have great photos. And I think a big part of getting a great photo for Instagram would be the edit that you do on it. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys how I edit and I'm also gonna show you guys the presets I have for sale. So basically I edit my photos in Lightroom and I'll link down below, I'm selling five presets for $20. This means that you can just click and put a preset, a look on the photo and it's ready to go. But I'm also gonna show you the freeway on how I edit them and show you the basics of how I edit if you don't have the money to spend on. But if you just wanna make it easy, you can buy the presets and that's why I wanna offer it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take some photos, show you guys some examples. We're gonna go out and shoot me and my roommate Alex we're gonna take a few pictures, bring them back here and edit them, show you guys my presets, how I edit them and how to make it look really good. If you haven't seen my Instagram lately, my feed I think is pretty good. I went on a trip this past week. I flew to Bermuda with my family and I didn't make any video content really. I made a little bit, but mainly did Instagram content. And I think I pulled some amazing photos out of it. Just look at the feed and how I have the color correlation for these nine blocks right now. This is an app that basically lets you plan out your feed. It doesn't post for you, but it lets you see what it would look like if you post. It's called UNUM, not a promo. This is just something that I use a lot. And there is these nine photos right here. As you can see on the right side, they're all wearing the same shirt. So I limited myself to a certain amount of clothes during this trip all the same shirt. The middle is a very same warm look. So it has kind of a yellower look. On the left side, you have a very aqua and blue look. All of these kind of come together. Now they're not all exactly the same, but they all have a correlative style. Now, Jacob Starr has the most fire Instagram and he's the one that I get a lot of my inspiration from. And he does a lot of different blocking with 333 and I took some inspiration from that. So you have to check his Instagram out if you're gonna check out mine. I, I just gotta do that. You know, I talk about them all the time, but it is so fire. But basically this is kind of where I'm going with the pictures that we're taking. A lot of the time it's good to get multiple photos and multiple angles wherever you're getting photos done. So it helps to get, you know, maybe a far away shot, a close up shot, and maybe a super wide shot. Now, I'm not gonna teach you everything on how to take photos and how to be a photographer. If you guys want some tips on that, I will be linking some videos down below to kind of go over the basics of taking photos and photography. But I think the best way, which works for me, maybe not for you, but is to see a photo and emulate it and try to make a similar angle. If you want to, you can take the angles of my photos as I'm about to show you and just kind of replicate those and use those as kind of a guideline for now until you learn actually everything because I've been doing photography for like five six seven I don't even know how many years now I've worked as a photographer since I was 16 years old seven years now so I have a lot a good amount of experience under my belt and I'm not the best photographer but I like the way that I take photos and it helps to have a little bit of knowledge on let's go ahead show you guys what we're doing. one important thing to think about when you're going out to take photos is what you're wearing now this particularly ties into kind of streetwear and I know if you're not taking photos of yourself, this doesn't really apply, but mainly the people who watch my channel, I assume you might be taking fashion photos or clothing photos. So a big thing is what you're wearing because you wanna focus on the outfit. And that is the main thing, which we'll talk about more how to set that up with shooting. But you wanna have a, you know, for me, I think a nice pair of shoes is a, a good attribute to have for particular photos. Now the outfit I picked is this HFLA one. You have the blue here, orange here, and the blue short. Now for this, I have a couple different options for my shoes. Now I have all my shoes right here. This is the main majority of them. I sold a couple of them. You know, all these different shoes here, these ones would be pretty good. I like using these for shooting because there's so many different colors that you can incorporate into like a background. But I have two particular pairs that are perfect for this. Now, the one that I kind of have been going towards, but I've probably been wearing it too much, is the off-white Jordan ones because there's the orange pop right there, the blue there, and the blue kind of goes with the shorts. They're a little bit off, but if you want them to match perfectly, you could honestly edit the colors a little bit, which I know is kind of fake. Or you could go with a pair of shoes like this. Now this is an Air Force One that has a changeable swoosh like this. And they actually come with 
a blue swoosh that is uh, pretty identical to this and this right here. Not too identical, but somewhat close. And you could swap this out here. Now I wanna do a full video on these shoes because you can get even more swooshes in different colors. So I might do that in the future. But as you can see, if you go ahead and change this, you get a whole kind of different look of it. It's not like a whole different shoe, but it has a nice little touch. So that would work too. How should I do this? Should I put up a poll or something to see which one I should wear for this photo? Let's flip a coin. We got a nice dirty penny. Heads is the off-white. Tails is the uh, Air Force One. Ready? Heads. We're wearing the off-whites, I think. So let me show you also, Alex is wearing a kind of a color coordinated outfit and uh, we'll talk about his outfit. Alex also is wearing an outfit that he's gonna get pictures in. For him, he went with these blue pants that match the blue shirt. So the kind of the color coordination. I like that for photos because we can find a background that has this color blue and make it, you know, pop out. I forgot Alex has this insane off-white bag that literally goes so perfect with these shoes. The only way he's letting me use it though is if I shot at his Instagram, so it would be linked down below. But this is a bag that I'm really jealous he got. He got it on the Essence sale and it was like $800 originally, but it's on sale for like four something, which is still a lot, but this thing is crazy and I'll link it down below if you want to grab it. I don't, I, he might have got the last one, but this strap and the shoes match so perfect. Honestly, this is a pretty decent setting for a photo. We're right outside where there's some construction, and this is kind of like caution tape. It's a nice orange machine right there. I might try to do it in a little bit, but I don't know right now they're working, so we'll see. But if I wanted to, I could take a pretty decent photo right here in front of that, even though it'd be kind of weird. Kind of that grungy vibe. <laughs> So we found this spot right outside my apartment actually. This is a blue background and it's perfect to go with Alex's pants and his different stuff that he's wearing. Now I've got two camera angles or actually one camera angle to show you guys while I'm shooting. I take one photo with the iPhone in portrait mode and another photo with this camera right here. And then after this we're gonna go back and I'll show you how to edit them. But this is a pretty cool setting. We have you know a nice blue that matches. There's a blue machine actually in the back on a construction machine. I think the overall look is kind of rugged and it'd be cool with some of the edits we could put on it. So we found this spot here. We have the blue to match the blue. It just happened to be out where we live. There's also a nice blue machine under there. So what we're gonna do now is take a few photos I got the two angles going right here, and then we're gonna see what we can pull out. Now we are back from shooting. I my hair, I don't know what's going on, guys. Let's just continue on with showing you guys what's next. I'm gonna be doing this editing in Lightroom. Now, like I said, I'm going to be releasing presets. There's five of them and it will be $20. Now, if that is too much for you, that is fine. You can see some of the process that I go through in editing for free, as well as if you wanna do a little bit of free editing on mobile. I use Visco, that's typically the place that I have found some decent filters that I go ahead and throw when I'm on the go. But now with Lightroom, you can actually use the presets that are in your Lightroom and put them on your phone. So basically, if you buy the presets, you can use them on your phone on the Lightroom mobile app, so it's basically the same thing. Again, those will be available in the top link of the description, but now I'm gonna show you guys the difference between iPhone and the camera photos. I honestly really like the look of the iPhone photos, in particular light. I don't necessarily like as much the portrait mode unless it's like, you know, an actual portrait, like here up. Full body, it's very hard to kind of get the camera to make the portrait around it, make the blur around it. But I do really like the look of an iPhone in general. I posted a photo the other day showing you guys my hair for the first time when it was an iPhone photo, a lot of people didn't actually believe that and it's just because of the colors and the edit. So in here, I'm just gonna show you guys one or two of the presets that I use and I'm gonna show you the difference between the iPhone and the camera picture. For this one, I'm gonna be using, it's called the HN Beach preset. Now this has a little bit more of a blue vibrance. Now I have another one that's monochrome that I'm gonna show you guys that I really like, but for this one, it wouldn't really do that good because it kind of takes down all the colors. This is the base right here. You might have to do a little bit of tweaking and if you wanna see some videos on how to edit on Lightroom, I'll link some of those down below, but I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on that. I just wanna show you guys this right now. I'm gonna pull some of the shadows up, 
bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna make it a little bit warmer and it should be a pretty good look for me. So there we go. I like that right there. I think that looks actually really good. Put on this a little bit and I'm gonna export this. Now we're just gonna copy the settings and we're gonna go and paste them onto the camera photo. Now this is a camera photo. I like to crop this one because this is shot in portrait mode on my camera. Not really like there's not a portrait mode, but it's just like I'm putting it like that, like as a portrait. I like to crop it into four or five so I can make it a little bit smaller, zoom in a little bit. Pretty similar to the iPhone one. And then we're gonna pull up and just paste the edit settings. Need to bring the exposure on this up a little bit, but that's really it. That seems pretty good to me. So now I'm gonna export both of them. We're gonna look at them side by side. Here's what the photos look like side by side. We have the iPhone on the left, and then we have the camera on the right. Honestly, if you're a camera person, you might notice the background blur. In general, I think when you're looking at something on Instagram, you're not gonna be able to tell that much. And when you have an edit on there, I think it just completely changes the photo. And this iPhone picture, I would post it. The camera picture, I'd post it as well. And I have a lot of high quality pictures on my feed. I don't typically do iPhone, but I would post something like this. So like, let's take a look at the picture of before and after. Here's what it would look like. This is before, this is after. That's the difference. I think it has a really good difference. It brings the colors out and just that kind of, it just has a look to it. Now with these edits, it varies from photo to photo. So one photo can have a different look than another one and the edit might look different. So you might have to tweak a little thing. It's not gonna be absolutely perfect every time because the lighting and the colors and everything is different in each photo. So this is another one of the photos. So I just applied the monochrome preset and you can see it just kind of keeps the natural colors of me but brings down all the other colors. Now I'm gonna tweak this a little bit as well. Maybe bring up the exposure a little bit, the highlights down a little bit more, and then I'm gonna crop it. And then I think that looks absolutely amazing. Now, if we revert this back to original, look at the difference there to there. I think it's such a different look. That's just two of the presets right there. I can show you a few more if you guys want to and just show you some of the things I work on with it. There's another one called Fire Story, which I use when I put on my Instagram stories and I take them from my camera. I typically will take them on my camera, put them straight to my phone, upload them to my story. And this is the preset that I'll put on there. It has a nice kind of darker, warmer look and you can kind of adjust it a little bit but this is one of my favorites so there's three right there there's two other ones you guys can see let's go ahead and throw the same preset on here put on fire story and then bam gives a nice warm look kind of just brings out the details i really really like the look of these in general and that's why i wanted to offer you guys some presets now these are things that i i'm letting my secrets out basically all the stuff that i use i'm giving to you so if you do want to go ahead and buy them you can now some of the settings if you want to look at them just to see i do a lot of bringing the shadows up i bring the highlights down that's one of my primary things i make a little bit of contrast and then bring the blacks down as well you can adjust the temperature and stuff now i would do i'm going to show you guys on the screen you can see what the settings look like it's just a little bit harder to talk about every specific detail because this channel is not typically about Lightroom and photos and editing. So I don't wanna bore the people who don't necessarily care about that and let the people know who want the presets and an easy way to do it, they can. Now I'm on my phone and I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it on the app because this is just something that is pretty helpful. So if you do have any presets, which I have a lot, I've purchased a lot of presets in my day and I ended up finding the way that I like to edit and using my own editing style. And then I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm gonna go through here, go to the presets, my beach preset right there. And I think that even looks good for Alex's photo. So you can use all of the different presets on the phone. So I think that's actually a really you know useful thing to be able to have that on the mobile and on the computer. Cause sometimes you don't always have your computer, but I prefer to edit on the computer for being 100% honest. So let's do a quick rundown of everything that we talked about. As far as taking the photos, I like doing a lower angle and just kind of capturing more of the background with the subject in the foreground. Now you can do that with an iPhone, you can do that with a camera. I would recommend don't spend a lot of money on a camera if it's not something that you're making money from. Now, if it is a hobby of yours and you have the money, 100% spend the money on it. For me, it's a job and video is my main job and photography comes along with it with these types of cameras so I can justify having a camera like this. But I will use my iPhone a lot and I do think you can produce some great photos from an iPhone and if, especially if you edit it the right way. Another thing I'd recommend is if you're into clothing, you're into streetwear and you wanna take some cool photos, kind of correlate that to the backdrop of what you're taking the photo in front of. If you have a full pink outfit, don't take it in front of a bush. Go try to find something with a pink accent, maybe some graffiti. I think that's a great way to go ahead and just add some flair to your photos is to try to match it to the background. That's just kind of the thing that I like to do. And then if you use apps like UNUM that I showed you guys, you can kind of plan out your feed and see if certain things match. I think that's gonna wrap it up though. If you guys enjoyed, let me know down below. I'll do some more videos like this, maybe show you some more tips and tricks, maybe like five editing tricks or just, I don't know, just more stuff with cameras and equipment and taking photos because it kind of relates to clothing, maybe how to shoot shoes, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.